friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa Stringworks Workshop. Got a little miscellaneous project here, kind of a maintenance thing. I do a lot of welding here at the farm. In fact, I do a lot of welding here at the farm. Seems like almost every day something comes up that I have to weld. Not quite that bad, but almost. You know, I don't spend a ton of money on my welding equipment and things, and I bought this inexpensive auto darkening helmet and it worked absolutely great clarity everything was perfect on it but it quit working just after just a few uses of it I know most of you would send it back I don't have time for such things <laughs> it's more trouble for me to box it up and send it back than it is to just either eat it and throw it away or repair it so I took it apart you can see it's clear through there took the guts out of it and sure enough, the battery that was in it was dead. So I ordered some cheap batteries, like $5 for five batteries. It was really not expensive at all. And I'm gonna try to put this battery in it. Trouble is, they didn't make it easy. They didn't just make it where you could slip the battery in. They had spot welded this battery in place. So it wasn't intended to be repaired, obviously. Here we go. Well, as I uh, turned the camera down here, I noticed a little brown recluse spider. He's still quivering there. I already smashed him once. I'm not afraid of spiders at all. And that was a brown recluse, I guarantee you. I absolutely know them for sure because we have bazillions of them here. It's amazing how many brown recluse spiders we actually have. And yes, it does have the fiddle on it, the whole bit. Um, let's see here. So, you know, they didn't, they didn't make it where you could just insert a battery. I'm so what I'm going to try to do, and again, try is the operative word, is I'm just going to try to solder this. Whether that's going to work or not, I don't know. Looking into the holders, the ones that seem to be readily available, yeah, they don't look all that promising for my purposes here. So it may not be possible, but I'm going to try to solder this in place. And I'm using this uh, pistol solderer. It's my favorite one. I have the other kind. I have several pencil solderers and, and even the other kind to the soldering irons. This one is my go-to. I like it the best. I can control it. Doesn't put much heat into things. That's what a lot of people say. These get too hot. Well, if you do it right, they don't. So I don't have any problem with it. We'll give it a shot and see what happens. My problem is on this, the one on the bottom, I don't see how I'm going to be able to get to it to solder it. I have to fold it up here, I guess, and do it this way. I'd say the odds of this happening are slim to almost zero, but I'm going to give it a shot anyway. Oh, it's never simple. It could just be simple, but it never is. It's not sticking to this very good, unfortunately. Yeah, it's not sticking to that, so there's my problem. Okay, I'm going to scratch that up and see if that matters, see if that makes a difference. Doesn't seem like it's flowing, it just seems like it's sitting on top of there. And I don't want to get the battery crazy hot. It's just, it's not sticking. Well, there's problem number one. I'm gonna try scratching it with a little stronger piece of sandpaper here. Because that wet or dry wasn't scratching it very well. And I think that might be my problem. Yeah, 
If I ruin this battery, I got four more, so I'm not too worried. Some kind of material or something on that battery and it won't let the solder stick. I've soldered batteries before, so I can't understand why I can't solder this one. I've done it quite a few times, in fact. I've soldered uh, lithium ion batteries inside of uh, drill battery cases, you know. No problem at all on those, but this is not working. Not sticking and flowing at all. I mean, I could get a blob sort of lay on there, but it won't stick real well. Okay, I'll probably set that battery aside since I've got it so hot, uh, trying so many times. I'll do attempt number two here. Well, for attempt number two, this is quite bogus. Most of you are going to laugh and think this is really stupid, but I'm going to try it anyway. Putting a little CA glue on that and uh, going to try gluing it. I don't have a way to spot weld it easily. I'm not saying I couldn't get it done. I think somehow or another that's made it thicker right there and it doesn't want to close, which would be my next luck. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. The CA glue built up underneath the bottom of this. Alright, well, I got the heavy stuff off of it. Maybe if I try it once more and see if I can get it to lay flatter this time. I doubt this will work. I know you doubt it too, and that's okay. It you just never know. Sometimes you learn something by trying things like this. The cases that they sell for these would mount awkwardly in this thing. That's probably why they didn't use a case for this. Or at least probably one of the reasons. The other reason is they want to sell you a new helmet. It still feels thick, but it's not as thick as it was. That pretty much answers my question that a holder would not work on this because uh, the holder, I could tell, looked like it was quite a bit bigger and by their measurements and everything, it's, it just won't fit in here. It's crazy how tight that is. I might just try taping it together like this and putting it back in there and seeing if it works. All right, at least it's back in one unit. Can I get it back in here is the next question. I'm assuming I can, but I don't know anything for sure. Now, the question is, will it work? And unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to show you that, but I'm gonna go test it right now and see if it works. Well, for the record, and in case you see this video, I just thought I'd be honest with you and tell you, no, gluing that on there did not work. 
I thought that the chances were about one in a hundred that it would work, but I thought, you know, I didn't have too many other options since the solder isn't working and I don't have a good way to spot weld it and I don't have a holder for it and they didn't make a holder for it and a holder isn't going to fit in that tight little space because I can't even, the CA glue itself took up too much space. I mean, it's that serious. The odds are I'll end up having to trash this thing unless I can think of another option. Well, it occurred to me that uh, the better way to test this would have been to just test it with meter to see if the current is flowing through these leads. And uh, if it is, then we got a different problem. So I don't think it is, but uh, you know, if it does flow through these leads, then we got a different problem. No, nope. yeah, it's not flowing through it. Yeah, it's not flowing through it at all. Well, I'm getting like a 1.4, but the battery should be 3.0, and the battery tests at 3.0, so I'm only getting like a one and a half volt through my leads. So it's making some connection, but not enough connection to work. So we'll try some other option. Well, my friends, I've reached a stumbling block on fixing this welding helmet. But, very little stops me whenever I've got my mind made up. I know it'd be cheaper and faster to just go buy another one for another 50 bucks or something. But that's not who I am. <laughs> so, we've already established that fitting a new battery in here and even just the solder makes it too thick to close this. So we've already established that. But that doesn't mean the battery has to go inside there. What if I bought this battery holder, which I did, and I mount it to the outside of this case and just run the wires out to this? I think that'll work. And I don't think it'll get in the way of anything, although that's a good point. I better double check that too. Once I put it back in the helmet, I, I might need to look and see if there's going to be a guard or anything or the holder that's going to get in the way and I think that's a possibility. In fact, it's a very good possibility. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't really think that's going to be much of a problem. There's nothing inside the helmet that's going to get in the way, I don't think. I'm going to get this thing mounted to this and get it wired up. Let's see what happens. Off camera, I have tentatively marked where I want these holes drilled. And so I'm going to go ahead and get it drilled. These are the contact points for the battery case. And they have to stick through here. That's about a 1 16th inch hole. Now if I got lucky one time in my life, these holes will line up. Bingo! Perfect. So the wires are sticking through there. Now there's no way to really fasten this other than to glue it, I think. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm just gonna use some good old fashioned CA glue. I don't think there's anything here that'll get in the way, that'll be a problem. So I'm just gonna put a big old drop of it right there in the middle, set these things back in place and give it a couple seconds to set up. Spritz it with this, maybe from the inside. That looks like it's glued already. Just to play it a little safe and for future, I'm just gonna put just the least little drop right there. Spritz that and just go on the opposite corner here and put a nice little drop, a little light very light drop, spritz that, and I think that's going to be all she needs right there, battery. So the battery is going to be accessible from the outside, which is very nice compared to the way it was. Now I'm going to take, get rid of these two leads and I'm going to solder a wire in their place and have that wire come out through here, or actually the wire is just going to connect on the inside and then we'll snap it back down in place. Probably like this. I'll just run the wires across. I've got the uh, negative one at the top, which is, according to this here, the, the negative is at the top, the positive is at the bottom. So that should be easy to line up. 
and lay them back in there when I'm done. Lots of people get on me for using this on tiny electronics like this, but I have good luck with it. I've used it this way my whole life and it works for me. If you need to use something else, feel free. I do have other ones, I just like this one. Okay, that's the negative one. What I'll do is tin this just a little bit before. Okay, it's tinned real nicely. Probably got a little bit more sticking out than I need, so I'm gonna cut it back a little bit. That looks good. Now we'll disconnect the positive side here and I'll pull this off now if I can get it off. Easy, no problem at all. Okay, now I'll take that other little wire which I probably have knocked off the table, here it is, and I'll twist it and tin it also. Okay, by tinning your wire, it's a lot faster to solder a joint like this, and you don't want to heat this board up real hot. So this makes it much quicker solder joint. And so you can see there, they're both attached. I think they're both perfectly fine. That was the hard part, so we're in good shape. Now I'm going to kind of cut them to length, I think, for this. Cut them a little bit long, as usual. I don't want to get them too short. Now I just need to strip them. Hopefully I can get them stripped cleanly. Okay, so now, should be able to hook straight across. I've got the I've got them orientated where they should be straight into the other one. The uh, first issue would be to tin these little well to tin everything actually. That'll make it much easier to connect up. If you're completely unfamiliar with the term tinning it, it just means to pre-coat it with solder. When you do that, then your, your actual solder connection goes much faster and much, much easier. Okay, that wire's tinned. Let's see if I can tin these things without melting them loose. The trick now is just to make a connection. I think that worked. Very good. I think we're in very good shape. Now, the only trick now is getting it back together. And that might be the biggest trick because this thing is very touchy about how it goes together. I've got it back together. It's all tight, but it doesn't seem like it's snapping back together. I thought maybe it would snap in place, but it doesn't seem like it wants to do that. So, once again, I'll probably just tape it, because that's the easy way in case I have to redo it. Well, as I was working on that, my phone rang, and I went ahead and taped it up, and then I stuck it back in this holder, put the battery in it, so it's ready to go back in the welding helmet. And I'm going to go take it out there and test it. I'm going to put it back in here. I'm hoping that it will go. I think I've got it back together correctly. I'm hoping I can get it locked in. Yep, I did. And then this just sticks up here like so. And then I put this little deal on the outside out here. And it's got numbers on it, and uh, it locks into a certain spot also. And I'm going to turn it all the way to the lowest setting. 
and then I'll line up the pointer with the lowest setting and so that part there is done I wasn't on camera with that sorry but anyway I set that on there turned the dial to the lowest setting and then pushed it back together now I'll put the rest of the gear back on this you don't need to see all that but uh, I'll put the gear back together here and then we'll go test this thing out well I got her all back together I'd like to tell you that putting that headband back in there and all those little connections that it has was really easy I'd really like to tell you that that took me 30 minutes and I don't know to this moment what I did differently to make it finally work the proper way. So now that I have it all back together, I'm gonna to go out to the welder and test it. I'm not gonna film that, but I'll let you know whether it's really working now or not with the new battery. And as you can see, it's easy to replace the battery now because it's right there in the open. That's the way it should have been made to begin with. Well, I'm really excited to tell you that it works perfectly. I seriously just didn't think it was going to work. I'll be honest with you. I didn't think I'd even show you this video. But it does work. It works great. And now with the uh, quick change battery, if it ever gives me any more trouble, bingo. I can just put in a new one and keep going. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.